A man, as a general rule, owes very little to what he is born with. The man is what he makes of himself. A man's own judgment should be the final appeal in all that relates to himself. The most successful men, in the end, are those whose success is the result of steady accretion. Man is an animal which, alone among the animals, refuses to be satisfied by the fulfillment of animal desires. It is the man who carefully advances step by step, who is bound to succeed in the greatest degree. I have always considered myself as an agnostic. Observe, remember, compare. Night is a more quiet time to work. It aids thought. Great discoveries and improvements invariably involve the cooperation of many minds. Concentrate all your thoughts upon the work in hand. The sun's rays do not burn until brought to a focus. The day will come when the man at the telephone will be able to see the distant person to whom he is speaking. One day there will be a telephone in every major city in the USA. The telephone will be used to inform people that a telegram has been sent. A person without a practical end in view becomes a crank or an idiot. Such persons fill our asylums. There are two critical points in every aerial flight, its beginning and its end. Educate the masses, elevate their standard of intelligence, and you will certainly have a successful nation. America is a country of inventors, and the greatest of inventors are the newspaper men. Neither the army nor the navy is of any protection, or very little protection, against aerial raids. The nation that secures control of the air will ultimately control the world. Before anything else, preparation is the key to success. Perseverance must have some practical end, or it does not avail the man possessing it. Be not the first by whom the new are tried, nor yet the last to lay the old aside. All really big discoveries are the results of thought. We so often look so long and so regretfully upon the closed door that we do not see the ones which open for us. God has strewn our paths with wonders and we certainly should not go through life with our eyes shut. The only difference between success and failure is the ability to take action. I had made up my mind to find that for which I was searching even if it required the remainder of my life. Sometimes we stare so long at a door that is closing that we see too late the one that is open. The achievement of one goal should be the starting point of another. What this power is, I cannot say. All I know is that it exists. 
With every door that closes a new one opens. Washington is no place in which to carry out inventions.